Putin's capital is under attack. Skyscraper in Moscow is engulfed in flames, Russians lose faith. Welcome to Latest News 360, this is the latest update on the Ukrainian war. Vladimir Putin has suffered a new nightmare after a fire broke out in a massive luxury skyscraper in Moscow, filling the air with thick black smoke. Fire broke out on the roof of the huge but unfinished Capitol Towers building, about 300 m high and 66 floors. According to local reports, the top floor of the massive building caught on fire. Emergency services rushed to the scene, with the Department of Emergencies saying only that firefighters were trying to reverse the situation. The building is so tall that it can only be accessed from a helicopter. Several photos and videos posted on social media showed thick black smoke rising into the night sky as the flames burned. Next, a, a Belarusian media outlet tweeted a video of the building on fire. It read, Emergency services have arrived at the scene of the accident, according to preliminary data. A fire broke out on the roof of the building. The fire flared up violently, sending out a black smoke in the sky. The smell of burning covered the air. Many glasses were broken and fell like rain, very dangerous for pedestrians. The crowd panicked and exited the building. According to Russia's TASS news agency, citing various sources, Capitol Towers is a complex of three luxury and residential skyscrapers currently under construction in Moscow and located near the Moscow International Business Center on the banks of the Moskva River. The three skyscrapers are named Park Tower, City Tower and River Tower. Here is a video of the exact scene of the incident. Russia has blamed a Ukrainian missile attack after at least three people were killed and dozens of residential buildings damaged in the Russian city of Belgorod, located just 25 kilometers north of the border with Ukraine. Regional Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov posted on the messaging app Telegram that about 11 apartment buildings and 39 private houses were damaged, of which five were destroyed, but Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konoshenkov said, I emphasize that this missile attack was purposefully planned and launched against civilians in Russian cities. He said Russia's air defenses destroyed three Tochkyu missiles, but fragments of one of them hit residential buildings. A Russian defense ministry spokesman said it had also destroyed Ukrainian explosives-laden drones that were approaching Kursk, another city in southern Russia. The sound was so strong that I jumped up, woke up, was very scared and started screaming, one city resident told Reuters.